Hello and welcome back to the challenge, the alphabet challenge. If you are just joining in, we're going through the entire alphabet, A through Z, doing crafty bits. Um, we are going to do letter L today. And this one's going to be pretty easy for me, I think, because I've used this element in, I'm pretty sure, every single letter so far. Um, maybe not the index cards. I don't think I used lace in the index card. Um, but I'm going to use lace just because I have a ton of it. If you don't believe me, take a peek at my shop. Um, there's over 200 listing or no, there's over a hundred listings just in laces alone. Um, so I have a couple, you know, just a, just a small amount. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna play with laces. And I think what I want to do is I want to do, um, journal cover embellishments. I thought about doing journal covers, but I don't think I can get three full journal covers done in 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make journal cover embellishments um, using, of course, lace. Um, and I normally start the bases with that with doilies uh, because they're nice and structured and I don't know, they're just, they're a good format for a base. Um, so without further ado, oh wait, we need our clock. I have lace remnants on my, actually let's open this up. There we go. All right, and start. So we're just gonna set that aside. I'm gonna grab a couple of my larger doilies. These are the smaller ones. Um, I want the bigger ones because like I said, I want to be able to use this as a, um, a journal cover embellishment. I really wanna use this green. I think that in and of itself will be a challenge because it's such a dark green. Oh, let's see what else do we have over here. I'll just grab another one of these. I need to get some more of these big ones. Okay, so we're gonna start out with this green one here. Um, let me set my doilies aside because I have other stuff over here too. Stay, doilies. Stay. All right. Um, so here is, these are, I did figure this out because of the handwriting. Um, these are leases that I have purchased. Um, I don't remember when. I should probably leave that in there just so I can remember who it came from. I believe I purchased these from Maggie White, but I don't remember when. So... That is the kicker there. All right, I don't know if this is gonna turn all the way around. We can make it though. All right, we're just gonna start here. I'll put our little bloopy glop right there. Make sure the right side is showing. All right. And continue. All right, another gloopy glop right there. And honestly, I'm not even real sure I'm going to be able to get three of these done in 30 minutes because they are a little time extensive. But that is the challenge, isn't it? To ah, burn your finger. Surprise! <laughs> I touched the hot glue. I know everyone is shocked by that because I never do it, but I did it today. I like how the green is just kind of poking through. That's kind of cool.
And then also what we can do is we can snip this like so. and it will make turning it a little bit easier. Actually, let's leave it like that for a minute. Um, all right, there's another piece. Let's just kind of layer that right there. Like that. All right, we're just gonna put glue on the little dots here. By the way, I love this glue gun because it's got a fine tip on it. I got this at Michael's several years ago. I want to say like four years ago at least. We were still in Washington. And the only reason I got a new glue gun is because my other glue gun decided to go quit. And it just started oozing glue out like constantly. Alright, here are some lace pieces, applique pieces, the shebang. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Let's put you right there. Okay. And then You're not grabbing the next stick. You're making my life difficult. There we go. I had to push the stick down. It wasn't grabbing it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. So how are you guys doing today? Anything new going on? Ooh, that's pretty. Actually, let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see about... Nice. I like that. So let's put this here and we'll move this over like that. That's really pretty. I like that. And I like the green poking through, and there's green in the picture. Let's see what else we got over here. Um, let's see, ooh, the brown might work nice too. I like that. So also, do it this way. Push this down, push that down. So I like that. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, we have this one. This one's nice. I feel like this should go up top though. If we do this one. Like that. I like that. That's nice. Um, which one do I like better? Mm, 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 mm. Um, let's see. That one's nice too. Okay, I think. I think we'll stick. 
this one to this one. All right, so we'll put this, make sure this is what we want to use. We use one of these two. One of these little jazzy jazz. It doesn't even have to sit like that. I'm trying to make it go like that, and it doesn't necessarily have to. It can sit like that, and then have this off to the side. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so I'm gonna glue back here because I need to cut this down. So I'm gonna go, and I, it's gonna be hot glued anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue. Um, and let that sit for a hot second and then glue this down like that. that. This glue should be cooled now. So it's not really. All right. So we're going to put this here and we're going to cut here. All right. Turn this over and glue this because I don't want this to come apart. I'm going to set that aside. We can use that later. And then, cute little happy couple over there. So, I don't know if I've asked you already, but what have you guys been up to? Are you doing the challenge? Are you participating in this particular challenge? I would be interested to see what you guys are doing. I do have a Facebook group. Um, if you guys want to post pictures of the challenges that you guys are doing, that would be super duper cool. My Facebook group is, well, called Journey of Crafting. Um, and you can ask to join, and one of the admins or myself will let you in. All right. That's really cool. Okay, I think I'm going to glue this down, though. Because this part's not glued down. Okay. All right. But yeah, I would be interested to see what you guys are doing if you're doing this challenge or even if you're not doing this challenge, what you're working on. Um, if you've bought some of the digital kits, some of the things that you've created. That's cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's one. And, yep, I have glue all over my paper here. And it's probably not all going to come up. Not, but it really matters because it's just paper. It's just paper. All right, so where's the next one? Did I bury it? 
Did I set them somewhere? I did set them somewhere. Okay. All right. So let's figure out what we want to do with this one. That's really pretty. Um, let's see. I kind of like this color, but I don't think it contrasts well enough with, ooh, that's pretty. I like that. All right. So we're going to put you on that side. But yeah, I don't think the other one contrasts quite enough. It just kind of blends in. Oh, one of my dangles went underneath it. Come back here. Good thing I didn't glue that part yet. Come back. Come back. Alright. There we go. Alright. No gluing of the dangle part. Dangle part needs to stay dangle. So what have you guys been doing during the quarantine? Anybody watching Netflix or Hulu, Amazon, you know, any of that jazz? If you are, what are you watching? Um, I haven't watched any of it in a minute, but um, the last show I remember watching was on Amazon. It's called The Expanse. It's actually kind of cool. If you like sci-fi stuff, you'll like it, I think. Um, it's kind of like a story. Uh, I'm only on to, I think, the second season right now. But um, it's kind of the story on... Do I have another one of those? Like... Our space program has a, like extended out, and we are like um, we have inhabited Mars, and so there are actual Mar like there are people, but they're called Martians, like um, like Europeans are called Europeans, um, so they're called Martians, and there are uh, people that live on the asteroid belt, which is kind of a a go between between Mars and Earth. Um, but anyway, it's just, it's a, it's a pretty cool story. I like it, but I like sci-fi, so I don't know if everyone who watches the channel likes sci-fi or if anybody who watches the channel likes sci-fi. I know some people do. Um, I know Eve does. She likes sci-fi. She likes fantasy, stuff like that, but she's only one person. All right, so I definitely want to put this here, but I think I want to put something No, that completely covers it up. Maybe like a small flower. Oh, I really want to use this. Okay, I'm going to scrap it because it's not working. I like that. Let's put some lacy pieces on here. Okay. Oh, I like that. All right. Um, let's see. So we'll go. Here. 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 And here. It's like fussy cutting, but with lace. So I'm just smoothing out the edge is all I'm doing. So it's not just a flat cut off piece, you know? You know what I mean, Jodine? I say that to my kids all the time. You know what I mean, Jodine? So there's that side, and then we'll go go down a little bit and be able to take that one, I think. 
That might be too big though. Hmm. Let's see, that's too small. Well, maybe not. And how many of you talk to yourself when you're crafting? You know, whether you record videos, do lives, or whatever, but, like, when you're just sitting in your room by yourself crafting, do you talk to yourself? Or do you talk to your products? That's funny. I know someone who talks to their products, and they get mad at their products, which is really funny because it reminds me of my husband because my husband likes to get mad at inanimate objects all the time. And I'm just like, you are so funny. Like, you realize that it's, like, the computer is not actually doing anything wrong. It's not doing what I want it to. Well, why don't you tell it to do what you want it to? I tried that. Well, apparently you did something wrong because it should be working. But he's really funny like that. I like that. Okay. So, and that computer is just an example. Computer is probably a bad example because um, normally the computer is doing exactly what he wants him to. Because he's kind of like a computer dude. Him and Porter both, man. It's funny because uh, Porter's taken like three computer classes right now. And I have to have Wayne grade some of the papers. Because I'm just like, uh, I don't know what this is supposed to do. I don't know what the answer is. Um, and I mean, the program will tell you what the answer is. But the answers that the students give you are not going to be word for word what you know, the textbook says, you know, so I'm just like, uh, I need you to grade this. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, I don't know if it's right. Well, does it say what the book says? It's like, I don't know. That's the problem. <laughs> like it doesn't have the exact words, but I don't know if it has what the problem has. I I don't think we're going to finish this in 30 minutes. <laughs> I think we're going to fail this particular project miserably. All right, we've got some more laces over here. Oh gosh, that's a whole roll and I'm unwadding it. Fantastic. Um, I want this color though, this nice dark color. See how dark that is? Well, you probably know, but. It's dark. Um, it's kind of like a pinky color. Ooh, I like that. Then that covers up everything. Do we want to cover up everything? I don't think we do. All right, let's see. Let's do an applique. And, oh, I like that. And then, oh, that's nice. I like that. I may not use that particular one, but we are using this lace applique. I don't think this is considered a lace applique. I don't know, because it's got holes. Because I know that's what co um, signifies a lace as if it's got holes. I don't remember who told me that. I think it was Eve, actually. I get all of my lace advice from her. Because she used to make um, custom dresses. Like, a lot. I don't know what's going on right now, but it's really loud, and I'm sorry. Um, but she used to make custom dresses a while back. And for those of you who doesn't, don't know, she's over in Switzerland. So she deals often in, you know, French laces, German laces, Italian laces, Swiss laces. Like, and so I get my advice from her. And oddly enough, she actually doesn't sell them, like, regularly. She might sell them occasionally, but... She just happens to know about them because she uses them, not because she buys them and sells them. You know what I mean? Which, I don't know who would know more. Someone who, you know, spends their life buying and selling or someone who would use them. I have no idea. Ooh, I like the blue. That's cool. I like the red, too. Ooh, the pink is nice, too. 
that red. I think the pink might actually go better because it's a narrow heart. Okay, I'm digging that. I'm sorry for all you ladies out there who don't like pink. My bad, yo. I know this alarm is going to go off. It's going to scare the crap out of me. It has for the last few videos. Every time it goes off, I'm like, oh my gosh. All right. That's really cool. So that's the second one. And now the third one is going to be, I really like this. This is a nice one. We're going to use this one again. I really like this lace. Um, I'm going to see if I can try to find some more like in bulk. Um, but I had bought this last year from Miss Maggie White. Um, she has beautiful laces and such as well. She doesn't have a store or anything that I know of. I mean, I could be wrong. I've been out of the YouTube loop for a minute. But um, occasionally she will do a live sale um, on other people's channels and such. Alright, and now we're going to do this one here. So it's going to be here. I think I might have had too much caffeine today. I don't think that that's really a thing, but it might be. Especially for me. Like, when I start getting jittery, that means I've had, like, way, way, way too much caffeine. Because I have a, naturally my heart rate's pretty low. Um, well, not pretty low. I mean, it's not like I need to be hospitalized or anything like that. It's just I have low blood pressure. Like other people have high blood pressure. I have low. That's all. Anyway, uh, I can normally drink the caffeinated beverages in abundance. And um, I actually want to, oh my gosh. Uh... Maybe next time. I was going to say I want to cut these flowers, but maybe next time. Because that is going to take so much time. And I do have a decent chunk of this lace. And like I said, I'm going to see if I can find some in bulk. And, I mean, that's how I buy my laces. I buy them in bulk. And I try not to buy, like, I try not to buy laces if there's only, like, a yard or two. Because I want to be able to use it as well as, you know, share it with others. And if there's only like a yard or two, then yeah, I'm not going to be able to share much. And that's not very nice. Ah! So yeah, if you guys haven't been over to the shop lately, go check it out. Um, some of the favorites are definitely the trims. Um, that one, the trims and the napkins I've sold the most of, and, um, I've sold a handful of the handcrafted items, but to be fair, I haven't really had a lot up. I only just now started posting them. Um, so, all right, I like that. We're going to cut that right there. So I need to make sure to glue on this side as well as this side. Okay. Let that sit for a half a second and try to figure out what's going to go on. Ooh, pretty. I like that one. And I like this one too. Um, I do like this one. This one's got some red in it. I don't think I have anything with red in my not handy I have red laces I have all kinds of laces um, but this one 
might do well with. I have a blue. Oh, where are you? Are you going to hide from me? I think you are. Or did I use it all? Oh, I hope I didn't use it all. That was all I had left. Ugh, come out of... I'm fighting with my jar. Meanwhile, the timer goes off. <laughs> oh, that's the same one. Crap. Oh, no, it's not, but still. Okay. So, we're going to shove that back in there. Shove that back in there. Ooh, that's pretty. I want to use that. Uh, it's a little too big, so I'm going to cut it down. You can also use shears, so it's not like a, a flat edge. I'm just going to leave that there for now. And we're just going to add this extra little piece right here on the back of this. And then, all right, and I'm going to click my mouse and hopefully not do anything too devastating. All right. What is going on out there? I think Wayne's cooking dinner. This, I think, is what is happening. All right. Okay, well, I, I knew we weren't going to make that. All right. Yeah, I, I knew we were not going to make that time. Okay, so let's... Oh, you know what? We can make you even shorter. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do that either. Um, okay, so I do like this piece. Let's see. This is one of my lace appliques. Well, I mean, technically they're all mine, but I have it in my shop is what I mean. I like that. All right, let's put that down. Yeah, I kind of figured when it was time for the lace part that we were not going to make the deadline <laughs> because I can get lost in this stuff. And I don't know about you, but I could make three different projects and they all look similar, but I mean, because the same person made them, but they're all different. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh, well, that missed completely. Ow, oh, good thing it's getting covered up. Ha, 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 ha. All right, let's do it this way instead. And I'm only kind of just tacking it in a couple places because I'm fixing to put more glue on the heart. And it's going to seep through the holes. Ow, shoot. Um, and it's going to tack it down even further, if that makes sense. All right, so I know I want to use this one. And where are we going to cut it? Right here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to cut it right there. Yeah. Don't cut your fingers. Bad idea. All right. I'm going to put that right there. Uh, push that out just a little bit. And then that there we go that way you can see some of the background 
do you think? So I did it this way. I think I like it that way better. Yeah, I think I like it that way better. All right. So let's tack this down. This I do have to tack down a little bit more securely because there's no holes for the glue to seep through when I put the heart down. Well, there's a little bit of holes, but not, not a whole bunch. I need another stick. Ow. I keep hitting my finger in the same spot. And instead of leaving the glue on there, I'm taking the glue off. So I keep hitting the, my finger again in the same spot. So it's fun stuff. All right. Um, you go in there. You go in there. You go in there. Sorry, I'm just putting stuff back in my little jar. We've already ran over time, so that's not a hard thing. And I normally clean up after anyway, so. All right. Now we're going to put this right there, like that. Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh, I need to grab another stick. And this is some seam binding, some crinkled up seam binding. Uh, it looks like it's dyed as well. I did not dye it. Voila. <laughs> I have glue everywhere. It's mostly stuck to my paper, but all right. Um, so that's all in the jar, and this actually goes over here and there. Oh, go back in the bag. Back in the bag. All right, so shove that back in there. Um, and I actually had my appliques in one bag and the laces in another, because that's how she sold them to me. Um, I don't guess it really matters, other than it's not all gonna fit in one bag. That's the thing. All right, so, uh, and you probably shouldn't wad up your appliques like I am. Um, you should probably keep them nice and tidy, but I use them fairly regularly that it's, they're not going to have time really to wrinkle up because that's really the only reason you're not, you don't want to shove them all in a bag like this so they don't get wrinkled but like I said I think you guys in the last week have seen me use these like two or three times because I use them a lot all right so bloop. all right 
So we've got this one that we just did. I really like the coloration on this one. Um, we've got this one here, the pink and white. And then the green. I think the green might be my favorite, actually. Y'all see the green in that picture? A little bit. All right, and so that is not cinder. There we go. That is my entry for the letter L for lace. I'm just trying to peel the glue up. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I always forget to say that. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.